Welcome to this gloriously short little film on how to add music to your frame animation. Uh, it's not hard, but you do have to follow these steps carefully so you don't screw up your movie. Oh All right, so first thing is, here is my file um, that is completely finished in terms of animation. I am ready to add the sound. The problem is, is that you can't add sound to a frame animation. And that concludes this video. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding. What you have to do is change this from being a frame animation into a video timeline, oh. which is very easy to do, but uh, you need to make sure that you have your original animation in its original form, just in case you mess it up somehow. So very first thing I'm gonna do is go to the file menu and do a save as. I cannot emphasize strongly enough how important this is because when you switch to video timeline, if you switch back to frame animation again, there's a good chance your movie's gonna be screwed up. So if you haven't saved this original animation, guess what? You have to do it all over again. So I'm just gonna save this with a slightly different title. Uh, we are gonna add music to it. And so boom, boom, and save. All right, so now I can switch this to video timeline and not worry about uh, if I mess it up. If I do, I can just go up back and open my original again and do another save as. So to switch to video timeline, I go down here to the very bottom left corner of the timeline window, and I click on those little bars right there. All of the stuff that was made in frame animation has now been converted into timelines. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom here, and you'll notice there is an empty track down here called Audio Track. Now you can add as many audio tracks as you want simply by clicking on this menu right here, uh, but we only need one, so I'm just going to come over here and click on the plus sign. I'm now going to navigate to my music, which is a bit of public domain music I found online. Uh, however, for yours, you may use any piece of music you like. Because this is personal use, you are not violating any copyright laws. However, you do not want to take this and post it to YouTube. So if you do a Queen Bee track and you put it up on YouTube, I guarantee it will last all of about one second before that is taken down uh, for copyright violation. So because it's personal use, it's okay. But if you want to go beyond that, then you will want to find some public domain music of your own so that you can use it free of fear and lawyers. For sure. All right, so this one here, click open, and you'll see it immediately imports this audio track right here. It's a different color green, so you can see it. You'll also notice that the audio track is longer um, than the video track. And so this really isn't that big of a deal to fix. Just two things you need to do. You drag your audio timeline until it matches the length of your video lines. And uh, you'll notice it will just kind of snap right to it. Now, unfortunately, uh, the music is going to end very abruptly. Let me show you. So that is not what we want. If you can't have your music be exactly the right length relative to your video clip, then you want it to at least end elegantly let's say. Um, so there's different ways to do this. The very simplest way is just to have the music fade out. And so to do that, I'm going to click on this little arrow at the end of the green bar. And that will open up this little window. You'll notice you can also fade the music in from the beginning um, or fade out at the end. So if I would have preferred to end the music at the same place, I could have faded the music in from the beginning. But I prefer the fade out in this instance. And so I'm just going to pull my little playhead over here till two seconds. Well, let me take it back. I'm going to type in two seconds. And why such a long uh, time period? I don't well, because know. we're going to end up saving this at a very low frame rate, only 10 frames per second. So, pretty much anything less than, uh, I believe it's a second, you, it won't even, you won't even hear it. It won't fade at all. So, generally, two seconds is what I've found to be pretty good for such a low uh, frame rate. All right, so I'm going to click away to close this. And uh, now let's watch our movie, shall we? Gird your lines, people. It's going to be a beautiful ride.
I don't know about you guys, but I've messed it up. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So let's see if you can make yours even more beautifuler.